This will go horrifyingly. I get that it's a bit, but let's unwrap this universe-destroying wish. In fact, let's back up a bit. Suppose that every atom in your body got an extra electron. Now the internet tells me there's about 7 times 10 to the 27th atoms in a standard order human male. So that means about 7 times 10 to the 27th more electrons in a volume of around 0.07 cubic meters. If we want to determine what happens, we'll need to compute the potential energy of all of those charges in such proximity of one another, which involves integrating the Coulomb potential over that volume, and again integrating the charge density against the resulting Coulomb potential. To do the integral, we can assume humans are cylindrical, with an average height of 1.8 meters and a volume of 0.07 cubic meters. Now, I won't bore you with the details of the integration, but the total Coulomb potential energy is equal to the square of the charge density as measured in coulombs per cubic meter, times 6.7 times 10 to the 7th joules. As the charge density averages out to be about 1.6 times 10 to the 10th coulombs per cubic meter, that gives us the total electrostatic potential energy of the system of around 1.7 times 10 to the 28th joules. Now, all of those negatively charged atoms want to get away from every one of the other negatively charged atoms because like charges repel. Consequently, that electrostatic potential energy will be very quickly liberated in the form of kinetic energy of all of the atoms flying away from each other. Essentially, you become a bomb detonating with an energy equal to about 270 trillion Hiroshima atom bombs, or about 57,000 times the energy of the meteor that killed the dinosaurs. And that's just a single person. Here's the thing though, if you tried to do this with bigger things, the energies get so big that we get to black hole levels of energy densities. In fact, running the same calculation for the Earth, you end up with a total electrostatic potential energy of around 2 times 10 to the 65th joules. That's a lot. In fact, we can compute how much extra mass the Earth will have by gaining all of this potential energy using E equals mc squared. You end up with 2.4 times 10 to the 48th extra kilograms. That's about a million times the mass of the Milky Way, for reference. Putting all of that mass in Earth is, frankly, overkill. You'll end up with a black hole that is 17 times wider across than the Milky Way is. So let's zoom out one more time and check what happens if we do it for the Sun. Again, running the computations, we end up with 2.85 times 10 to the 77 joules of potential energy stored in the extra electron Sun. Converting it to mass, that's an extra 3 times 10 to the 60th extra kilograms, while the Sun typically has a mass of 2 times 10 to the 30th kilograms. This forms a black hole with an event horizon that is about a million trillion light years across. For reference, the observable universe is about 100 billion light years across, 10 million times smaller than the black hole sun. So yeah, this isn't a good wish to wish.